The next thing that we want to do is we want to play the correct animations, right, based on what the player is doing, and we want to flip the sprite back and forth based on the direction that she's moving in. So we're going to add that to our platformer controller. We're going to change our start function to awake, and we are going to declare a private sprite sprite renderer called sprite renderer. And in awake, we are going to get a component reference to it. And then after we have figured out our movement, we are going to check if we need to flip the sprite, right? So we're gonna make a bool called flip sprite, and this is gonna be equal to sprite renderer dot flip x. So the sprite renderer actually has a field for this already. Uh, sprite renderer dot flip x, and we're gonna flip it if if move.x is greater than 0.01f, otherwise if it's less. And then if that bool is true, if flip sprite, I should put some braces just to be nice. Sprite renderer dot flip x equals not sprite renderer dot flip x. So whatever value it's currently on, it'll become the opposite. And now let's save back to Unity. Woohoo! And now we can flip back and forth, right? But we're still stuck in our jumping, falling animation. So let's get that fixed. So we're going to need to address the animator component. So we're going to create a private animator variable called animator and get a reference to it. And then we're going to set those parameters that have already been set up for us. So we are going to say, first of all, we're going to decide if the player is grounded. We're going to say animator dot set bool. And first we pass in the parameter name, which happens to also be grounded. And then we're going to pass in the Boolean that we want to set or the value that we want to set of that parameter, which is our bool grounded. And then we're going to call animator.setFloat. And we're going to pass in the name as a string, velocity x, and the absolute value of velocity on the x axis divided by max speed. Save. And now. Ta-da! We can run, we can jump, we can do fun things, and our basic 2D platformer code is working. Now, just for fun, we've included this dead zone follow camera, uh, which the script is currently deactivated. We're just going to turn that on, drag in the player, and play, and the dead zone follow camera, if we look at it, it's got a little dead zone where if the player moves outside of it, it will start moving. So if we move around in here, right, we're not going to move, but if we get outside of it, it'll start following. And then we can go down in the caves and jump around. We can walk on our slopes like I showed in the pictures, jump off, and so on. So I tried to keep this as minimal and simple as possible. Obviously. Uh, you're going to want to flesh this out for your game, right? Make it more robust for your levels and so on. Um, but hopefully this gives you a nice starting point for beginning to write your own custom 
2D physics. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. We will be back in two weeks with another session. Uh, I'm going to hang out in the chat and answer some questions. Uh, but yeah, thanks again.